The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Let me, let me switch you. I know you've been outspoken. I think you spoke just the other night about the, um, the fact that the, um, the abuse of power mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. power grab by yes. this administration, changing the law, changing the health care yeah. law, yeah. DOMA, um, uh, the, uh, the welfare, uh, right, right. loosening up right. the, the must-work provision. Um, but there have been nine times when the U.S. Supreme Court has unanimously turned yeah. down Justice Department arguments. I know you've cited three, mm -hmm. but talk about, for time uh, mm -hmm. constraints, uh, uh, concerns, talk about the, um, the religious, the freedom of religion right, right. when it comes to businesses. Yeah. Well, the, the question you raise is a very important one. It's one of the most troubling aspects of the Obama administration is, uh, aside from their radical policy, the way they've implemented it has sadly been lawless. Over and over again, this president has said, I don't care what the law is, I'm going to refuse to enforce it. And so we saw that with respect to immigration, when he said, I'm not going to enforce the immigration laws against certain individuals. We saw that with the drug laws, where he said, I'm just going to pretend these laws don't exist and not enforce them. We've seen it with Obamacare, where provision after provision, he says, for big business, I'm not going to enforce it against them for a year. For members of Congress, even though Obamacare applies to members of Congress, I, President Obama, I'm going to refuse to enforce the law. And, and now, most striking, strikingly, just last week, in response to five million people losing their insurance and more getting ready to lose their Changes insurance, it again. he simply says, fine, we won't enforce that part of the law. Unconstitutional? It, it's completely Impeachable? unconstitutional. You know, Article 2 of the Constitution gives the president a responsibility to, quote, take care that the laws be faithfully executed. We have never seen a president behave like President Obama, who believes he can just pick and choose. He'll enforce this law, not enforce another law. I mean, that is impeachable, deeply dangerous. You know, that's a question for the House, ultimately. The House under the Constitution makes the decision to, to whether, whether to impeach, right. and then the Senate is charged with trying it. So that's a question for the House to assess. Would you urge them to consider it? You know, any impeachment would have to be tried in the United States Senate. Mm -hmm. So since my responsibility okay. would be to render judgment, um, I, I, I would not want to urge the House to do anything other than exercise its best judgment, okay. and, and then I would endeavor to do the same on my end. Now, I know you, you and, and I believe you when you say you're serving the people of Texas. You're, you're a year or so into this whole thing, and, you know, I know Barack Obama got some criticism for just, you know, getting elected to the Senate and then running for president, and I, uh, and I don't compare you to him in any way, don't get me wrong. Uh, but you have to have national aspiration. I mean, you have to, you have to, this is now in your blood, and, and you have become like I said, the lightning rod for some don't like you and many, many love you. So is, this, is the presidency something you will one day consider? Not today, maybe not in 016, but will you consider that? Well, look, I, I appreciate the question. It's a kind question. And, and, and I understand the instincts to focus, to focus on politics, focus on the next elections. I'm trying very hard to keep my focus on the substance. I, I think the challenges facing our country are enormous. I, I don't think we're at a typical time. We're facing a fiscal and economic cliff that is bankrupting this country. But who better than a, uh, the chief executive to, to get us out of the mess? Well, what I can tell you is two things. Number one, I think the Senate is the battlefield right now, and my focus is on the U.S. Senate, on standing up and fight to pull us back from that fiscal and economic cliff to get back to free market principles and get back to the Constitution. And number two, I think our window to turn this country around is short. And I am committed to doing everything I can to helping energize and mobilize the grassroots. The answers are not going to come from Washington. The way we're going to turn this country around is to see millions of Americans standing up saying, there's a better way. We want to get back to the foundations of our country. You know, I think where we are now is very, very similar to the late 1970s. Late 1970s, Jimmy we had Carter years, yeah. Jimmy Carter years, terrible economy. Double-digit unemployment, 22% interest rates, a feckless foreign policy. And yet what we saw all across this country was a grassroots movement, the Reagan Revolution, where millions of men and women, individual citizens said, there is a better way, let's get back to the principles this country was founded on. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.